Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. Today we are going to learn how to do DOM manipulation, document manipulation using PyScript. If you are from the JavaScript world, you know that this is something that you would be doing all the time. But if you are new in the web development world, I would like to tell you how you can do DOM manipulation using PyScript. Before even going to that, what is DOM manipulation? DOM, let's say document is an object in your HTML code. So like for example, there is a text area here. So you're writing something here. And now you have to manipulate this object first. Sometimes you have to read it. Sometimes what, what reading is called as access. Sometimes you want to manipulate this, which means you want to clear this or you want to change something else. So for example, let's say this is an area you have got. And if you do something, you want to clear this. And let's say there is an area here where if you do something, you want to display something. So this is a text area where after you type something, click a button, clear this. And then this is another place where if you click a button, display something. So this is this is your typical DOM manipulation. To teach you with an example, I've created a simple string counter. So whatever string you type here, it's going to say maybe, you know what, nothing. And then you click the button count so you can see that suddenly something popped up here. So initially at the start of the video, nothing was here. And now you could see that something came in. And the second DOM manipulation that we are going to see is, let's say there's a text area. You want to ban, you want to delete everything from there and then clear it. So you can clear it and you can also change it. For example, let's say English and then you type count and then you're going to get the latest value here. Did it come? Oh, this is also seven. Um, maybe, maybe simply I can say Python. Hopefully this is not seven. Yeah, six. So this is, this is DOM manipulation. And I'm going to show you in this video, how you can build a very similar application that, and also you can learn DOM manipulation. So let's get started. First, I'm going to open my VS code. I'm still learning how to write Python within J um, HTML. So please, please forgive me for having a terrible, terrible interface and then terrible, um, code code um, code base so what i'm going to show you right now is i think i have to make this a little big so let let me see if i can make this a little big okay this is this maximum i can go cool fine not a problem so so what i have is let let me even open a new file and then i can start writing it okay so that that would probably make it easier. So I've opened a new file. I'm going to save it index.html. Okay, index uh, maybe main.html, right? And after that, I'm going to add simple HTML uh, code. So first, I need open close HTML tag. Then I need body. Then I need head. And inside head, I'm going to paste the script. So I'm going to paste three codes inside head. One is for the CSS. You saw the button colors. We are going to get the button colors from the CSS. Second is PyScript CSS and third, third is PyScript Java, uh, JS. So we have got one CSS for the button colors. The second is PyScript CSS. Third is PyScript JavaScript, PyScript.js. At this point, we have, uh, we have things that we want. Maybe as a good practice, we can add a title tag that says learn DOM for by script. It's a terrible name, but that's fine. So after we have our head tag sorted out, now let's get into body tag. So inside body is where we are going to define the UI components that we want. So what do we want first? First, we want to add a, add a small title. Let's say we want an H1 tag that says learn DOM using DOM manipulation using PyScript. Okay, so we have h1 tag. So maybe I can have an h2 tag. So what can I say here? I can say simple string counter using Python. Add a little emoticon. Cool. So we have got h1 tag, h2 tag. So let's go ahead and then see how does it look. Um, if I go, you can see, okay, this is my index.html. I can say change it to main.html and you can see right now it looks like this learn DOM manipulation using PyScript and this is quite simple, neat. Uh, coming back here, so let's define a text area. So a text area is text area, text area is a tag where you can say what is the name of the text area? Input, I can call it input text and I can give the same as ID name input text. 
a number of columns that you want a number of rows that you want i don't want to define number of columns and rows so i'm going to just leave it as it is and i'm going to just leave it so what we can also add is a placeholder text that says you know enter your enter your text da, 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 da. so at this point we have input text and you can see there is there is an input text here that says enter your text if you want to give a gap maybe you can add um, br here and then so you have a gap so and, and also you can you can just add a paragraph text that says input text okay so th this this is just slightly to reassure what you have um okay so the next thing that that we want to do is is we want to specify we want to specify the buttons okay so we want to give the buttons and just to make it easier i'm going to copy the code so just simply you can say button like this and then you can give an id but just to ha get the colors as well because i don't i don't know know those colors i'm going to copy those buttons from here and then paste it so what do we have here we have a button the id of the button the type of the button and also the whether it is primary or um, um, danger so this 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 gets the color from the css defining what what button this is this is going to help you i think yeah i think this maybe i should try to make it further big can i i couldn't okay i need to figure out how to hide this can i hide this window 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 okay i i don't know how to hide this at this point editor layout appearance show status bar okay status bar is required zen mode maybe zen mode okay this this looks much better right this looks much better um okay i i hit zen mode maybe for, for 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 now let's stick to this i'm sorry i wasted your time so at this point we have uh, we have one text and two buttons let me save it go back and then see you've got two buttons i'm going to again add um, add the br tag just to make sure that you know this comes in the next line so you have uh, the text you have input you have uh, two buttons okay so right now maybe i have to move the screen a little bit that's fine uh, the next thing is you can see that at this point we have to find our ui the final thing that we want to do is we want to give a place for output so i'm going to call it output from python and then i'm going to say a, a, a tag with an id that would say it is output so at this point we have clearly defined our ui so we have uh, input text that goes here we have two buttons which we are going to use to do some action and then we have output so one thing that you might notice is that these two buttons have got on click attribute pi s pi script on click attribute so which means these two buttons are going to trigger this python function once you click it so when you click this count it's going to look for a python function count and then it's going to invoke that function run the function call the function the second is when you click this button it's going to look for a python function clear and then it's going to call the function at this point our ui is done so let's get out of body and then let's open pi script and then close it and then we have pi script and with pi script i have to first first thing is access the dom so access the document element in the javascript world you would have some done something like this document dot element by id something something this is what you would do in the javascript world but being python being pythonic so there is an elegant elegant way for you to do this and what is the elegant way for you to do this you have to say input text i can call it input text equals i can say element of see this is also subject to change this is this entire pi script is an alpha stage and uh, this might change but for now the id of the element that you want to access and then you assign it to a python object so at this point element of input element and the in the input text in this case because that is our id and then you add it to input text so two changes we want to make one we want to sometimes clear the input text second we want to change the output as well so i'm going to say output equals 
or you can give any name okay i can give op as well op equals element of output so at this point we have managed to access to and you wouldn't see anything right now nothing happens here okay uh, so at this point we have managed to give to so even i can type the text here nothing would happen nothing would happen because purely because we have not defined the function now we are going to define the python function that says def clear and uh, argument we have to get the argument so to make it simple i'm going to get the arguments here okay so args quarks so we have got args and quarks and then we are going to say uh, indentation matters a lot so def clear what do you want to do inside this i want to say input text dot clear that's it okay so let's go back here and then write a you know i love this channel or i can say subscribe to one little code okay and then i can click clear will it work doesn't seem to be working and let's explore why it is not working will it work let me refresh this i can say sub to one little coder and i can say clear it still did not work let's go back to our previous code and then see why it didn't work the reason it did not work is primarily because i want to just explore just give me a minute so i have my id here right so the text is being captured and it's being captured using input element input text that's good and then i have the function that's called clear and inside that i have input text dot clear and um, i have the same thing here so let me try one last time to see what is happening so let's save it open the inspect element console okay. count is not defined why count is not defined okay so this did not work because we are calling a function count and count is not defined that's my problem so i should have done this as well instead of being lazy so i'm going to define count as well so count is another function and what do we want to do we want to take the input text okay find the length of the input text okay i can i can assign it to a number and i can say op dot write the number save it and come back here so right now at this point you i don't see any error so everything seems to be working fine i think this is something that i should have checked before so i can come back here and then say um subscribe to one little coder coder clear it it clears fine now i can say hello and then i can say count okay now we have got another another exception error object of type element has no length so it says this object does not have a type length so right now at this point you are very clear that um, first of all we successfully managed to access the dom second of all we successfully managed to manipulate the dom as well which means we we we, we can clear it so the right now the problem is um, we are trying to do something more so if you have learned what you wanted to learn at this point in this video you can you can very well um, leave this video but if you want to just see how i'm going to debug then you can stay here and then see so what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to see why it's saying object does not have an element so i think the reason why it says it does not have is because i need to access the value rather than looking at the element itself so let's try so now it's again loading loading everything let me first try to clear okay can i clear and then click it's clearing successfully say can i clear then count and then you got the count so the mistake that i did is instead of using value i was trying to take the object and then use it but ideally you should look for the value so what is the value the value is the value inside the text box so um and and you could you could get the output so i can i can say anything i can say english i can get count i can say pi script and i can get the count and you know you have got 
you've got the output ready and you can clear it as well so in this video we have successfully learned how to do dom manipulation using pyscript and we we'll, we built a simple string counter using python to do the same thing i'm sorry for certain glitches in this video um, like the vs code and the errors that you came across but i hope this video was helpful to you in learning how to do dom manipulation to quickly summarize the dom manipulation part is primarily this you identify the id of the document element the dom and then you try to access it first and then you try to manipulate it you try to manipulate it and the way you manipulate is using this and then you way the way you trigger is by using this where you give this action the the on, like on click or any any other event and you trigger the python function and then the function is being called i link this video sorry link this code um, i would add this code in my github and then link it in the youtube description but otherwise i i hope you should be able to create this code by yourself by watching this video thank you so much for listening to me see you in the next video peace